Hi, okay, here's Don again. And uh, this time I'm gonna show you some of the toys that I collect, the Keystone. Keystone toys were a very rugged toy and they held them very well. And I have a few examples of some of my Keystones here, some of the favorite ones. Now Keystone started, it was formed in 1922 to 1923. Two of my favorites are the, the Keystone Buddy, the Keystone Bus, Coast to Coast Bus, and the, the Keystone Circus Truck. Okay, the, the, the Keystone toys were made in Boston, and uh, they were real competitors with the Buddy L Company. But like I say, two of my favorites were the, the, the Circus Truck, and uh, it's a very heavy duty truck, and uh, the Circus Truck, of course, had cages in you could take out. And then you could have animals put in them. The animals uh, that they made in the 1920, late 20s, early 30s were just a wood with a paper uh, glued to the sides. Mm -hmm. and these are hand carved wooden toys that I got when I was in Africa. But I thought they, they, they look good in there and they're the right, right size. Uh, the, uh, like I said, the Keystone toys had this, this characteristic grill. It looked like the Packard grill. It, it, it kind of went down and had the square point here and then straight on down. And uh, again, they were very, very strong trucks. But these were considered ride-on toys, and so you, you could sit on them and ride. They're strong enough for kids to ride them, and then they could steer them and, and ride them around. And uh, I saw a picture of one toy magazine where a guy took a rope, hung it his bike, and he was going down the road as fast as he could with his bike, and the little toy was just bouncing along. Now this, I have two of these, uh, the circus trucks. This one here. This one here is, is painted a little different color. And uh, considered to be the ride on the truck. And they were, they were and they also usually had a decal on its front grill that said Packard. And so that was kind of a characteristic. But this, these are the circus trucks. And they're very hard to get because these were made in the later part uh, of the 19, after, right before the depression. And they were the, one of the most expensive toys they made. And of course, with the Depression, not many of them were sold. Okay, another one of my favorite of the Keystone is the Coast to Coast Bus. And again, like you said, it's very heavy. And they again were a ride-on toy. The, uh, again, the characteristic uh, Packard grill. About what time frame was this? 29 to 32. Okay. okay. So, it says, says Boston, New York. And this is, so that's where they were made originally in Boston. The tank truck, this was a little more uh, fancy addition. They actually took and put chrome metal around the edge of the wheel. So they had extra chrome wheels on them and the tank truck. And again, the tank trucks, of course, the kids always fill them with water. So most of the tanks rushed it out. But that's another example again, but very similar in design. And this keystone here, this is a fire one with the ladder and rope. And then, it, then again, you can see that they're, otherwise they're very, very, very similar. The Keystone, uh, they made a train car with a wrecker on it. Just looked like it, except that it was a train car rather than a, a truck. And that, behind it here, another, another Keystone dump truck. <coughs> uh, Keystone, of course, made different airplanes, and this is the example of a three-motor U.S. airmail. And <clears throat> a restorer friend of mine made these ale mail bags that went with it. And what they do, they these mail bags, is they fly over the town. They just drop the airmail right off uh, at, for the area to pick up. And so he made some these bags, and that uh, went with it. But that's that's a typical airplane they made. This is a tri-motor. I do have some other single-engine Keystone trucks too. I think that's enough for now. And uh, and then um, I had the phone off. With